515 Alette Avenue. Just to give you a sense of this uh, building, we're going to go take a look at its uh, Speedy Money Network, Voodoo. We've got this beautiful building. A lot of people are wondering what's upstairs and what's downstairs, right next to Bistro 507, Lazar's Furs. We're going to go in here. Um, I love this gigantic window. This is like a great opportunity, I think, for a downtown space. I'm going to be speaking with Neil Jones, so he's waiting in here for me. Um, Neil has uh, has this space listed. Um, tell me what somebody is looking at for specs on this space. How big is this this, this room? This is uh, total 1,100 square feet in total on this particular unit, and the rent is 11.50 a month. Yes. Including all taxes and common area maintenance, mm -hmm. the only expense the tenant would be faced with is water and electrical bill. Okay, and this is, what, what was in this uh, space before? I see humidor up above the, uh, the, the, the doorway there. Yes, this was a tobacconist, uh, including a confectionery and bookstore combined. Okay, and again, this space right now is not, uh, I mean, you could come in and you could lease this space or you could take the entire building that I was just showing outside. The, the entire space is for sale also, yes? That's correct. The building, which has an Art Deco face to it, makes it unique in its design. Yeah. We have a total of 9,000 square foot building listed for $529,000. Okay. And there are five units all together. There is only two vacancies. So there's five units, two vacancies, 529000 Yes. And actually, let's take a look around this space right now. You've got, uh, it looks like a, a little sink over here. But um, when you come in, you've got some storage, a small storage space in there. Yes. Uh, I, I, there's a lot of these partitions I'm finding in a lot of these uh, rentals that I've seen. And I particularly, I, I like them. I think some people could do without them or not, but it's nice to be able to be in the back in an office and look out front, yes. but still have your own space. Well, it's only a divisional wall, not a, a bearing wall, so this could be removed. Easily, yeah. Have a mezzanine upstairs for their owner's private office. Yeah, the mezzanine. I, I want to go up there and end the piece up there. So anyway, you've got a little tiny space in here. This is more like a utility space. You've got your uh, uh, power box here. There's a small bathroom back here. You said there's access to the alley, to the alley out here, back, yes. and uh, another kind of small storage space here. This is plus full basement. Oh yes, this is not a storage space. This is the stairs down to the basement. It's dark down there. So I just want to take you up to the, uh, take the viewers up the mezzanine stairs here. Okay. And you have uh, what, what is one of the rarer views in downtown, again, with that really big, big window out front, fantastic. This line of lights here. And it looks like uh, you could really open open this space up to some more light if you chose to have it that way. And uh, well, eleven eleven hundred dollars a month, you were saying? Yes. That's a pretty sweet deal. Thanks, Neil. So if you have any uh, questions uh, or concerns or something, you might know someone who uh, who has an interest in a space about this size. The information uh, is listed below this video. So get in touch with Neil and. Uh, Join us again for some other property, some other property scanning.